same life. Nope, we're going with it. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, Travis McClendon with Zero Guide Fees. I did not take my turn my ringer off, and I will do that right now. Thank you, Chris. All right, so we are live here in St. George, Utah. One of the best places to live. If you haven't known, now you know. Anyway, just kind of, we're going to wait a little bit for some guys to get on. And while we do that, we're going to have, uh, I'll probably go over a couple things, some new things that we're doing, some new merchandise that we have, and some pretty cool things. And uh, listen, guys, one of the things I wanted to say right off the bat is if you are watching this and you are interested about Utah and Nevada and how to hunt there, how to do the applications, and are interested in hunting there, or you're applying already for the bonus points and you're ready to go hunt, please take that text that we sent you, take that text, and I want you to forward it to your buddies, uh, any family member or any friends that you have that they might be interested in hunting Utah or Nevada, send those out for those texts. That would be great for us to, um, to do because basically – Instead of you telling them what you've learned here tonight, they'll know because they'll get to watch it. Plus, they can call us directly. So definitely do that for me. That would be great. Uh, tonight, we have Mike behind the camera, which is great. Mike Atterbury, he's our camera guy slash, you know, chief marketing officer. But I don't know if I'd say chief. Uh, he's just kind of like an officer, <laughs> basic. And then we also have uh, Chris. Christy, she is doing the moderation tonight. She is the chief marketing officer assistant, and we might put the camera on her later, but she is busy. You guys have any questions throughout the night? I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45, an hour. It just depends on what you guys want to do, what questions you have, and how we can answer those back. We don't want to take up too much time, but we want to definitely have you guys, you know, we want to have a dialogue with you guys, a question and answer. So if you guys have questions, we definitely, Christy's here to monitor that and to give those questions out as we go along. So that being said, Christy, how are we doing on our live feed? Are we good? Everything's good? Okay. How many, uh, I don't want to start too soon. Oh, good. Wow. Excellent. Okay. So a couple things I want to just kind of get out there real quick. Mike, follow me over here. We've got... Uh, some tumblers here with our zero guide fee product for our merchandise. We're going to give out that with our merch, what we call a merch box. And we're going to be giving one of those merch boxes away tonight. And then also, this is really cool. I got to tell Mike the other thing to do. Anyway, this is a zero guide fees. This is a money clip, but also it's a knife. Very cool. Anyway. That's what we, we got, some new merchandise for that. We also got our limited edition hats. And over here, we also have our limited edition shirts and hoodies. Mike, you pan in on that. And then this is our merch box. I just want to tell you a little bit about, yeah, sorry. First phone call. <laughs> this is our merch box. So this is the box we give away to all the Zero Guide members who get drawn. And in this box, it's pretty cool. In this box, we have hats, we've got our tumbler, we've got the money clip slash knife, we've got our hoodies, we get a shirt, and we give this to every Zero Guide Team member. We're going to be giving one of, the, uh, one of these away tonight as well, so that's going to be cool. So, guys, stick around to the end of the night. We're going to do some trivia questions like we did last time. In those trivia questions, you're going to be able to win a merchandise box, which is right here, this merch box. shirts, and I want to talk a little bit about um, Mutant Gear. So if you guys never heard of Mutant Gear, um, this is a really, really cool company my buddy owns, and they make specialty products that you can't really find anywhere else. So it's M-U-T-N-T -T Gear, okay, so M-U-T-N-T Gear.com. Go check their website out. We're going to be giving away some of their products. One of the things we're going to be giving away is the bow sling. This is a quick release bow sling. Very cool. Basically, it's one button hook, one button put on, and it comes off and on very easily. So you can put the sling over your shoulder while you're walking into the field. 
and if you need to take it off, you hit the button and it comes directly off. So very cool design that Richie at Mutant Gear has made. This is one of the best intuitive, uh, basically, uh, window mounts that are out there. Uh, and we're going to be giving one of these away tonight. This is about a $300 product, and this is by Mutant Gear. This part goes on your window if you guys haven't seen this. What's really cool about this is that it has an arm on it. This is the only window mount in the country that's designed like this. They have the patent on it. And this, this is great because it gives you 180 degrees to out of the window, whether you're looking at wilderness area or rather you're glassing from a road. It's cold outside. You don't want to have to get out on the side of the road and get your tripod out. This is awesome. It brings your face inside about 10 inches. So if the wind's blowing and it's cold, it comes with a, a head on it. The head is off compression. It's very nice. Very, it's a fluid head, very solid. And then you have this so you guys can turn and look 180 degrees. So that we're going to be giving that away tonight. That is really, really cool. That's at mutantgear.com. If you guys put in, if you go to that website, if you put in ZGF10, you'll get 10% off of anything they have. The other thing they have really cool is they have a new tripod that's about to come out. One of the lightest, tallest tripods that you've ever seen. It's really, really cool. I, I'm super excited to have it. And then this little tiny head goes on top of it. You're talking about one of the best machine products, but also one of the lightest. And this is a really, really cool product. So we'll be giving one of the, the, the tripod head away. And then the lastly, Mike, you might want to zoom in on this. This bino, this, ad, this is a bino adapter that mounts on top right here like that. This thing has been engineered amazing. This is better, all their products better than Outdoorsman. It's less than half the cost and it's a better product. I'll just tell you right now. And this thing goes on any uh, 10 power, 8 power, or 15 power bino you have. We'll be giving away those. So. Guys, if you're looking for products that are outside the box that are really, really cool, they have a new tripod coming out that's going to go with this head. It's amazing. Go to mutantgear.com. Check them out. Like I said, you get 10% off. So that it's ZGF10. ZGF10, you put that coupon in, and you'll get 10% off anything they have. So that being said, how are we looking on members? We good? So let's get started. I want you guys to... Yeah, go ahead, guys. One last time, go ahead and share that that text that you guys got. If you got the text, go ahead and share that with any friends that might want to hunt in Utah, Nevada, or want more knowledge or info. Check it out. So some of the cool things about, so let's just get into it. And you guys send me questions in. We'll answer them as we go. But basically, a couple changes. Uh, obviously, you guys know it's been a really good uh, moisture year. Uh, you definitely, if you are applying for Utah, Nevada, or if you haven't applied, our recommendations obviously apply this year. It's going to be a really good antler growth year. It's a great time to apply, number one. Number two, um, if you have bonus points and you've only been applying for bonus points, it's time to actually put in for the draw. So there's a couple of things, new things that I wanted to talk about. Number one, uh, Zero Guide Fees has a new website. Uh, we did a new three-page website. We're going to be adding new pages as we go. But if you haven't seen our new website, go to zeroguidefees.com. Check it out. It's really cool. It has a cool seven-question snapshot. If those guys that are not members, do your seven-question snapshot. And if you do that, it'll, really, it'll tell you what units you're eligible for and with your bonus points where you stand in our program. So we'll talk a little bit more about Zero Guide Fees later on and what we can provide for you. But basically, we want to give you guys some information uh, some good information, hopefully, that you guys are going to want for Nevada and Utah and some of the new things and changes they've had. One thing, we did the uh, Arizona elk last month. We are going to be doing uh, in June uh, before the deadline for Arizona deer. We're going to do another Facebook Live because a lot of guys want to know about mule deer and uh, sheep in Arizona. So we'll do another Facebook Live coming up here in a couple months. Uh, these are very popular. Guys are getting a lot of questions, and we're having a lot of guys interact with us, so we're gonna, just going to keep doing them. Uh, a couple things that we did last time that were very excited was we talked about youth and the youth hunts because a lot of guys out there are, and women have sons or daughters that want to hunt, and they want to start doing this. And every state's very, I would say, very like they want the youth to come out. So the hunting license are a lot less money, and they have some specialty hunts. So 
A couple things I want to start out with, and like I said, if there's questions coming in, Christy, let me know. But one of the things I want to start out with is let's talk about, I want to talk about Utah youth uh, hunting license and the highlights that Utah really has a special thing for youth that's going on that a lot of guys, a lot of dads, and a lot of moms don't know about. First of all, the hunting license in Utah for anyone 13 and under is only $11. Super cheap to apply your kids. Get your kids bonus points. Start applying them now. Don't wait until they're 18, 19, 20. You guys can start now and try to get them drawn because they have separate youth hunts. Number two, the hunting license for a 14 to 17-year-old is only $16. So if your kids are from 13 to 17, you might as well get them on Utah hunting license, get them bonus points. It's only 16 bucks. Uh, the application fees for those are only $15 per species. So if you're applying for elk, it's 15 bucks plus the hunting license, it'd be either 11 or $16. So that's basically small beans and you definitely want to start applying your kids. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to elk and youth is that they have a, what they call, um, it's a youth, is it youth only uh, elk hunt for youth. And it's a draw only for the youth, which is really, really cool. So the only, the only ones that can enter it is anyone under 18. And if they get drawn, they get to hunt, I think 27, there's 27 eligible units in the general draw that they actually get to hunt over the counter if they don't draw in the youth draw. Now, what's really cool about the youth draw is the dates are from November 16th to November 24th, which is, yes, oh, I'm sorry, did I say November? <laughs> September. So September 16th to September 24th, that's a rut hunt. So you talk about having your kids on an awesome hunt, and that's a rut hunt, and they get to use their rifle during that hunt, and that is just for the youth. So you guys can put them in there. Is that limited opportunity hunts for that one? So that's the limited opportunity hunts. That's the hunts like, you know, San Juan, Mount Dutton, some of the better, the better hunts. But that's the limited opportunity hunts for youth only. So if your dad's out there or mom's out there and you want your kids to start getting applied for that, definitely apply them for that. Only 16 bucks or $11, depending on how old they are. Might as well do it. What else is cool about that is they have over-the-counter elk hunts and 27 other general units that they can do over the counter every single year. So you don't have to worry about them draw. So if they don't draw in that limited opportunity youth hunt, then they can also go over the counter. And I believe the dates for that was October. Two different, two different dates. Two different dates. And then October 7th. So 6th through the 13th. And then right at the week after that. So there's two weeks of youth hunting. They can either do the uh, October 6th or 7th for a week, and they can do a week after that. And that's over the counter. And that's in 27 different units that they can do. And that is awesome because then you're guaranteeing yourself that you can go hunt with your kids. And that's really, really cool. They also have, uh, for Utah, they also have a deer um, youth hunt. And this is really cool what they do. So for elk, that's a specific youth-only draw. For deer, they take 20% of the overall general deer tags and they give them to the youth only. So they're, you're going to apply your son, your daughter, the same way you do in any general hunt. Now, that's not the limited hunts, which is like the Ponsagon, Henry Mountains, Oak, Oak Creek. That's, uh, those will be limited hunts. But on the general deer hunts, they take 20% of those tags and they give them to youth only. Now, when they get those tags, if they, you put in for a general hunt, like a rifle, muzzleloader, they can hunt. Every, what's really cool about this is they can hunt every season once they get drawn. So if you get your son or daughter drawn for a general uh, deer hunt, they can hunt in the archery hunt. They can hunt in the rifle hunt. They can hunt in the muzzleloader hunt. They can hunt each one of those seasons. So that's really cool what they do. A lot of guys don't know that. So if you haven't started applying your kids for Utah, they're very generous, and you guys need to start doing that. Um, and that, like I said, there's that elk draw, over-the-counter elk draw, and then also uh, the deer draw, which is 20% of the deer tags go to youth only. So very cool for Utah doing that. Um, 
and they cover on just to, let me explain on that so the 20 percent of utah hunts you can hunt you can hunt the chalk creek which is a new hunt you can hunt the east canyon which is a new hunt you can hunt fillmore camas morgan nine mile north slope Penguin lake pine valley plateau fish lake and zion now we're in st george here so this is the pine valley unit and there's a lot of deer around so if you got kids they would definitely have a good hunt in Pine Valley or right next to Pine Valley is Zion. So that's a general hunt. They get drawn. Like I said, they can hunt every season that there is. So they can hunt quite a bit of time uh, to get himself a deer. So if there's any questions on that, guys, give me your questions on the Utah stuff if you're interested on the, the, um, on the youth stuff. So let's just continue if we don't have any questions right now, let's continue on the Utah stuff because they've added a couple other things just in general. And let's just talk about the general applications. Um, so the, they did raise the hunting license. Uh, I believe it's, what is $155 now, Chris, Christy? Mm -hmm. For the general, for the new non-resident hunting license? 72. 172. 172. Non-resident? Non-resident. Utah. Non so $72 for the non-resident, that's right, I was thinking about it. Uh, Utah would be 72, it was 60, so they raised it 72 bucks. And I just wanna talk between the Utah and the Nevada application. So if guys don't un understand the difference between Nevada and Utah and how the Western states, let's talk a little bit about that. So how the applications work in Utah is really similar to Arizona. So basically they're gonna give 10% of the tags away to non-residents, so let's say there's 100 tags in a given unit. In Utah, they don't call them units. They're not numbers like they are in Nevada and Arizona. They're areas. Um, so let's talk about Ponsagon. Let's just say they had 100 tags on the Ponsagon, and 10% of those would go to uh, non-residents. Out of that 10%, half of those go to guys that have been applying the longest with bonus points. The other half would go to a random. So, and that would be non-resident only. So how does that work? So bonus points work just like Arizona. So if you had, let's say 20 bonus points, and by the way, let's back that up a little bit. Bonus points, just straight up, a lot of guys watching know what bonus points are, but there might be a couple that don't. Every time you apply and you don't get drawn, you get a point. And the point's gonna help you get drawn. And how does that help you get drawn? Well, basically, um, on a random draw, they give a 5% of the overall tags for any area to non-residents only in a random draw. And how that works is whoever gets the lowest number assigned to their application that's given randomly by the computer when you submit your application gets one of the tags. If you had five bonus points, the computer will assign you five random numbers and the lowest out of those five chances is what you go into the draw with. If you have a lower number than anybody else, then you're gonna get one of the random tags. And that's how it works in Utah on the random section. On the max section, if they give 5% of the tags away to the guys with the highest number of points, non-resident only, if you had 25 points and you're the highest guy applying for that area and no one else had 25 points, 5% 5 of the tags are going to go to you, you're guaranteed a tag. So they do decipher between the highest number of points and the random. 5% to the highest number, 5% to the random. That's how it works in Utah. Now, Utah's pretty stingy with their tags, guys. There's not a lot of tags given out, um, and I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's not super easy to draw some of these limited opportunity hunts. And when I say limited opportunity, or um, you're talking about premier units, um, I shouldn't say limited opportunity. What do they call it? Limited entry, sorry. It's limited entry. Um, and so there's not a lot of tags because those are the best areas uh, that they have. The general draws are much easier to draw, but then again, you're not looking at big game animals as far as trophy potential. So, so that's how it works in Utah. Um, there is some new stuff in Utah that you guys might not know about. And they gave out, uh, so what they started doing this year in Utah uh, for the elk is they added a bunch of what they call a mid-season hunt. So last year they had the rifle, um, anything archery or early rifle and late rifle, the seasons were archery is in August, early rifles in mid-September, and then you had the late hunts in either October or November. 
But what they did is they decided to pull some tags out of the early hunt on the rifle and some tags out of the late hunt in the rifle, and they gave a bunch of tags for the mid-season hunt, which starts October 7th. Is that when it starts? So that starts, so all those mid-season tags start October 7th. What's good about that is that there could be rutting bulls on that October 7th hunt. Now, we don't know what the odds are going to be. This is the first time they've ever done it. Under the membership plan right now, we are not offering it to the members. We will probably next year. We're going to see how this goes this year. But that's an October 7th hunt. So a lot of those units, those bulls still could be rutting. Yeah, October 7th. Those bulls could still be rutting. So that could be a really good hunt. Christy, how many hunts? Did we have the total of the units on that as far as? I know you gave it to me. I don't know if I printed it out. The number of mid-season, new, new mid-season hunts. Twenty units, so there's six, sixteen what? Sixteen that'll be online. Um, oh, okay. The so they, yeah. So out of the hunts that we offer, either on the early rifle or late rifle, they've added sixteen mid-season hunts that start October seventh for this year. We don't know what the draws are going to be, but I would. That's going to be a really good hunt if you're doing rifle, being as the first year. If you guys want to dive into that, that would be something I would do. Um, and some those are limited entry ones, right? Yes. And those are limited entry ones. You're looking at some of the best units or areas that uh, Utah has to offer. Um, you know, like the San Juan. Uh, you have Plateau Boulder, Beaver, Monroe, Fillmore. All of those areas are going to be your top areas, and they all give out that uh, October 7th hunt. So if you guys don't know about the hunt, please look that up. And I think for the first time this year, Utah's also giving their tag allocation out, aren't they? They tell you how many tags. So Utah's been very undercover brother, kind of, so to speak, when it comes to the number of tags they're giving out in their areas because they don't want everyone to freak out. But this year, they actually are listing how many tags there are for everyone to choose from. So that'll give you a better idea. If you're a Zero Guide Tree member and we do your applications, we go through all of that. We're going to assess this, and we'll do... You know, we'll base off of rate one, rate two, rate three, depending on what you're looking for. We, our rate ones are guys that have been, um, you know, are willing to wait the longest amount of time to hunt the biggest animals. A rate two guy with our membership would be someone who wants to draw sooner rather than later and hunt a respectable sized bull or buck. And a rate three guy is just like, I've never hunted before. Give me whatever unit I can. I just want to hunt. So that's how we rate them. So if we do your applications, you don't have to worry about it. We're going to take all this into account. If we don't do your applications, we just want to let you know that that is something really cool about this year is that October 7th mid-season hunt. Um, do we have any questions coming in? No questions yet. Okay. So if you guys have questions, go ahead and shoot questions in while I go over this. I just wanted to... We're going to stay on Utah for a couple more minutes, and then we'll go to Nevada. But um, if you guys have any questions on Utah, let me know. Uh, I just want to give you my top five, if you guys are looking for, like, some of the best areas to hunt in Utah for the elk and the deer, which are the most popular. Um, and just remember, guys, residents only get to put in for elk or deer, and they get one lifetime choice out of the moose, you know, the goat, the bison, uh, the what am I missing? The antelope, sheep. The residents only, they get one pick. Non-residents, you guys get to apply for all of them. Of course, non-residents are harder to draw. That's why they let you apply for all of them. But residents have to choose between elk or deer when they apply. But I want to give you guys my top five uh, on Utah elk. So for elk on the uh, rifle, my number one would be San Juan. My number two would be the Plateau Boulder. My number three would be Beaver East. My number four was Monroe. And then number five is Fillmore Pavant. Okay, those are the top five early rifle elk hunts for 2023. Uh, for archery, we have, I would say number one would be Plateau Boulder. Number two would be Beaver East. Number three, San Juan. Number four, Book Cliffs. Number five, Southwest Desert or LaSalle Mountain. So that's my top picks for archery. And then on muzzleloader would be the early muzzleloader hunt. 
I, I would say LaSalle Mountains, Central Mountains, Manti, uh, Fish Lake, would be number three, Mount Dutton would be number four, and Wasatch would be number five. We don't have a lot of options for muzzleloader in Utah, but those would be my top five if you guys are doing muzzleloader trying to get drawn there. Uh, on the deer, if we're talking about deer archery, my number one is Ponsagon, my number two is Fillmore Oak Creek, number three is Henry Mountains, number four is Book Cliffs, and number five is West Desert Vernon. Once again, they don't have a ton of archery options for you, but those are going to be your limited entry, really good bucks that you can go kill. And on the rifle, we have Henry Mountains 1, Ponsagon 2, Fillmore Oak Creek 3, San Juan 4, and Book Clips number 5. So that is everything for the Utah. Um, the deadline will be coming up November, oh no, I'm sorry, <laughs> we're in November. <laughs> The deadline will be coming up April uh, 27th, and that's coming up really quick, and so you guys want to make sure you apply. If you guys do have any questions, you can go to my website at zeroguidefees.com, uh, schedule a booking with me. To go down to the bottom, you can schedule a call, and then we can talk. We'll schedule it, and I can answer all the questions for you, especially on everything from uh, the Zero Guide Fee membership, too. So that's pretty much everything on Nevada that I would, I mean, on Utah that I would have. I want to talk a little bit on, uh, on Nevada. Now remember, guys, on the applications in Utah, they're going to, only going to look at your first two choices uh, when your number comes up. In Nevada, they're going to look at all five choices, and that's something we're going to talk about next. So I just want to kind of get into the youth stuff for Nevada. Um, the hunting license for Nevada for the youth is, uh, if their age is 12 to 17, is only 15 bucks. So that's really good uh, in Nevada as well. Um, they added some new stuff for the juniors and also other stuff for the general, in, and I'll, we'll go over that right now. But uh, for the junior hunts only, uh, there is a quota, but there is a, they have the junior hunts have to possess a hunting license and combined hunting license and fishing license. So we obviously have to get a hunting license for your junior. Now, one thing in Nevada you have to remember is that if you guys are first time Nevada and apply first time in Nevada and you haven't done before, they will require a, um, a hunter safety course certificate. It doesn't matter if you do it at your home state, that's fine, but you'll have to uh, send that in for them to recognize you and to apply. So that has to happen. So if you've never done it, it doesn't matter your age, even if you're 30 years old, it won't matter. You have to send in some kind of hunter safety that you've taken to apply for Nevada. So that's a big hurdle if you haven't done it. Um, now basically, <clears throat> that's number one. So if your kids are gonna apply, make sure they have their hunter safety. Um, and then you, they can apply from when they're 12 to 17 and they have specific hunts um, the youth hunts are there, but they're not as good as far as Utah goes, as far as they don't have separate, distinct youth hunts like they do in, uh, for elk, and they don't give 20% of their tags away like they do for deer in Utah. So kind of keep that in mind. But the hunting license is cheap. It's 15 bucks. Am I missing anything on that, on the resident? I mean, the non-resident youth for Nevada? Yeah. Okay. So the deadline for Nevada, so let's go over the Nevada application, how it works, and the deadline. So Nevada's a little different than Utah, so let's start at the application period. If you guys never applied, like I said, it's 100 what's the new, $155 for a non-resident, they raised it from 142 and then the process fee, they charge you like a $25 process fee uh, in the state. So it's $155 for a non-resident hunting license. And then they have bonus points just like Utah does, but there's a difference. In Nevada, they square their points, meaning that if you had 10 points, they're gonna square them. So 10 times 10 is 100, so now you would have 100 uh, names in the hat, so to speak, or 100 chances that the computer is gonna assign you 100 random numbers, and then the lowest out of those 100 numbers is what they're gonna take. So they're gonna take one number out of those 100 chances and they plug that on your application. And if that number is lower than your competition, you get the tag. There is no max in Nevada. So remember that. There's never a time where you're going to get enough bonus points that you're going to guarantee to get a, a tag. 
Arizona there is, and Utah there is. But there is not in Nevada. There's, I had a guy last year had 28 points, had the highest number of points for everybody, from anybody and did not get drawn because they just squared 28. Mike, do you have a question? Yeah, good question. So in unlike Utah, Nevada does have a guides pool for mule deer. They don't have it for archery, but they have it for rifle, and I believe they have it for muzzleloader, but they do have a guides draw. The guides draw already happened this year, and we are going to add that to the zero guide fee membership in the guides draw, just like we did in New Mexico, because they also have a guides draw. What that means is they take a section of those tags, and they set them aside, and the only ones that can buy for those tags are the guides, or I should say the clients who have gone through the guides, and the guides could get their own tags for them. So you have to have a special, you have to have a guides number to apply in the guides draw, and you have to guarantee book with that guide. So what you would do is you find a guide uh, that you want to hunt with. He's going to give you, he'll either do the application for you, or he'll tell you how to do the application. He's going to give you the guide state number. You'll put that on your application for the guide's draw, and it's definitely better odds. So that is by far the best way to get drawn for deer. The problem with some of the guide's draws, they don't do all the units, and they don't do all the weapons in the guide's draw. So you're kind of limited on that. Like, I'm an archery guy. I would love for them to do 231 archery in the guide's draw, but they don't do that one, so I can't enter the guide's draw for that. So the guides draw is a good question. The guides draw definitely is an advantage on mule deer. They don't, they don't have a guides draw for any other species in Nevada, but that is one that you could definitely enter. And like I said, we'll be adding that next year to the Nevada plans. Uh, it'll be additional cost, but you're, you know, you're going to better your odds by probably double. Um, so in Nevada, we were talking about bonus points, so they 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 double or square the bonus points, and then they're going to put that. They don't have any max at all. So there's never, there's never a time where you can't get drawn. You can get drawn as your first chance, but there's never a time you're going to get, get a guaranteed tag either. So there's pluses and minuses with that. Uh, I'm thinking the guy who has 30 points is pissed off because he doesn't know if he's going to draw. But the guy with one point super happy when he does draw because he got a, a low number assigned his application. Um, you must have that hunter safety course, guys, if you're going to apply in Nevada. So remember that. Uh, a couple things. The deadline for Nevada is May 10th, so don't miss the deadline for that, May 10th. Um, and also new for this year in Nevada, they opened up for the very first time a non-resident mountain goat hunt. Um, that's gonna, it's in Unit 102. And any non-resident with existing mountain goat points will need to once again apply or purchase a bonus point in this application season or the next application season. Back to the guide draw. When you apply for the Nevada guide draw, can you use any outfit? Yes, you can use any outfitter, but you have to um, you have to choose what outfitter you to put in the guide's draw. You have to choose the outfitter because. Uh, when you're filling out the application, in fact, I think a lot of the guides or outfitters fill out the application for you. They have to use their number that those registered with the Game and Fish. And if you get drawn in the guides draw, you have to hunt with that outfitter. So you need to find an outfitter you trust, an outfitter you want to go with, and then work with him before the guides draw to get you applied. And then once you get drawn, you have to go with him. I don't know what the state raffle odds are. With 11 points, it'll definitely determine on a couple factors. One, what weapon, what species, and what unit. Those are going to be, you definitely have a chance to draw with 11 points somewhere, depending on you're doing a general hunt, are you doing a limited entry hunt, are you doing rifle, muzzleload, or archery, and in what areas are you doing it. And remember, guys, with 11 points, you're going to get 11 chances to get the lowest number. So that computer is going to assign you 11 random numbers, and it's going to take the lowest number out of those 11 chances, and that's what you go into the draw with. And remember, 5% of Utah tags statewide go to non-residents in that random draw. 
So when you ask, do I have 11 points? Do I have a chance to draw? Absolutely. Everyone has a chance to draw because of that random. And if you got the number one assigned to your application, no one's ahead of you. You get the tag. If you get the number of one million assigned to you, obviously you won't get the tag because you're last in line. So yes, there is a chance. And as you build up your points, you're going to get a better and better and better chance every year you apply. So in that scenario, I think the raffle is going to be way harder to draw than 11 points. I think you do both. I think you put in for the raffle and you keep putting in with your 11 points and build up to 12 to 13 uh, and definitely take your chances. You've already got 11 years in it. Don't stop now. Should I continue or do you got another question? So this year we're not going to add, because it came so quickly, we're, we're not capable of changing. Uh, for the zero guide fee members that are watching this, we're not going to add Mountain Goat to your plan or have that option yet. Next year, for sure, 100%, we will allow Mountain Goat uh, as part of the application process or as a part of zero guide fees. So yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing I wanted to mention too is uh, no Nevada added a new depredation bull elk hunt. Uh, in Unit 231, this hunt is new and it includes a special hunt boundary focusing pressure on bulls frequently agriculture area. So if you never hunted in 231, there's a lot of crops in there and they won't like the elk getting in there and evidently destroying their crops. So they did add a depredation hunt in Unit 231 and they also have an archery bull hunt during the rut, which is September 17th to 30, and they're offered in Units 161 to 164. 171 to 173 and units 241 to 242 okay so those are new archery bull hunts that you might want to try uh, we're not covering those under the zero guide fees but if you're not doing the zero guide fees and you just want to apply for that take your chances we can definitely lead you in the right direction to get an outfitter um, and then they added a bunch of california bighorn sheep ram uh, hunts uh, they added hunts in unit 181 uh, they added unit 153 is now combined with uh, unit 183. Unit 212 and 213 now only have a single any legal weapon season, which is they combine it to one uh, season, November 20th to January 1st. And they opened up an archery season in unit 267 for, for sheep. So that's pretty cool. That's in unit 267 for archery season. So that's pretty cool. Um, they did close, just so you, the sheep hunters out there, they did close Unit 282, just so you know. And then they opened up Unit 102 for Rocky Mountain Bighorn, which is really cool. And then they closed Unit 114 for Rocky Mountain Bighorn. So that's your update for the Rocky Mountain Bighorn. Uh, remember, guys, when your application, you in Nevada, as a, we... As a Zero Guide Fee member, we cover the first two hunts in Nevada. I would love to cover all five hunts that you can apply for on the application, and maybe one day we'll do that when we get more Nevada members. As we get more Nevada members, we'll be able to take more risk. Right now, we cover the first two just like we do in all the other states. But as far as the statewide, when you apply in Nevada, when your name or number is pulled, they do look at all five uh, spots all five choices they do look at at one time they don't do that in utah and, the, and arizona they only look at the first two and then they throw you back into the pot and you got to get redrawn in nevada they do look at all five so that being said i want to go over the top nevada units the top five nevada units that you guys will have um for archery muzzleloader uh and rifle on the elk and then we'll talk about archery rifle muzzleloader for deer so for archery, for those guys that are applying for Nevada on the archery, my top units would be 111 to 115. Uh, the number two would be 104 to 108. Number three would be 221 to 223. Number four would be 231. And number five would be 108, 131 to 132. Okay, so that's my top five archery in Nevada. Top five for rifle would be 111 to 115 uh, early. Uh, the second choice would be 104 to 108 and 121 early. Number three would be 221 to 223 early. 
Number four would be 111 and 115 late. And my number five would be 231 late. And that would be my top five for the rifle elk for this year. Um, obviously, anything late is going to be easier to draw than the early stuff. But everybody wants a rut hunt, so that would be awesome. And then the muzzleloader, your number one would be 104, 108, 121. And that block there, number two would be 111 to 115. Number three would be 221 to 223. Number four is 231. And number five is that 108, 131, 132. And that's for muzzleloader. Uh, for deer, archery, my number one would be 241 and 245. Uh, my number two would be 221 to 223. My number three would be 231. My number four would be 131 to 134. And my number five would be 111 to 113. I know it's a lot of numbers. You guys can rewind this and play it back uh, once we post it. The rifle deer would be 221 to 223. I th my second choice would be 241 to 245. My third option would be 231. My fourth would be 115 late. And my number five would be 111 to 113. And lastly would be muzzleloader. My first choice for muzzleloader would be 241 to 245. My second choice would be 231. Third choice would be 221 to 223. Fourth choice would be 131 to 134. And my fifth choice would be 111 to 113. So that would be all the elk and deer. Listen, guys, you guys can definitely call us. When we get, go to my website down at the bottom, schedule a call. If you guys want more information, I know I'm, I'm talking about the best. These are tier one units, but there's tier two, tier three, tier four. We don't have time to get into all those, but if you guys call me, we could do a one-on-one, -on -one and I can walk you through whether you're a rate one guy, a rate two guy, or a rate three guy. Everyone's in one of those categories, and we'd be more, happy, more than happy to walk with you and, and see what kind of rate you are, where you want to be, and then put you in for those applications to get to best suit your needs. Um, so that being said, that's all pretty much the new stuff for Nevada and Utah. Hopefully you guys understood the application process. Hopefully the youth, it's very cheap to buy youth hunting license. So you guys need to start buying your kids bonus points so when they get old enough to want to hunt and they want to go, they can. Um, do, basically, I think that's it for us. Remember to check out our Zero Guide Fees website. we got a new website and a new filtering system. I would like to give a couple things away. Yeah, what was I supposed to say about the gear list? Yeah. So what do you want them to do? Yeah, so I, we've created a really cool gear list. It's an early archery uh, gear list. We also have an early uh, rifle gear list and a late rifle gear list. This is my gear list. This is the things that I tip, you know, typically use on a hunt. This is my personal gear from... The clothing, to the footwear, to the calls, to the, the bows, the arrows that I use, the archery that I use, the rifles that we use. This is our gear list. This is my gear list that I put together and we've personally done. And we're going to give this to you guys. How do we give it to them, Mike? So we're going to drop a link in the comments right now. Mike's going to drop a link in the comments. You guys can get that gear list and download that if you like um, and check that out. So that's a pretty cool thing that we're giving away. And lastly, if there's no, go ahead. Yes. And so the last thing we want to talk about, some, some guys could be out there. Hold on. Last thing we want to talk about is there could be guys out there that are wanting to be Zero Guide Fee members. Now, in case you don't know what a Zero Guide Fee member is, we pay for the hunts. You pay us a a yearly membership fee and in order to do that we'll buy a hunt for you whether that's five seven or ten days fully outfitted one-on-one -on -one. in arizona we're the outfitters but in nevada utah new mexico you pick out your outfitter we'll write the check for your hunt up to eight thousand dollars so that's the membership part of it and basically um, if you're watching and you're not a member or you could be a member and you do not have utah or nevada yet we're going to give away some deals and we want to promote this because we want you guys to sign up, become a member, get drawn, and let us pay for your hunt. So if you're not a member, the way it works is you basically go to zeroguidefees.com. You're going to pay $349. That's 95 cents a day. 
When you get drawn, we're going to pay for your hunt. First three years of your membership, we'll pay for a five-day fully outfitted hunt. The next three years of your membership, we'll pay a seven-day fully outfitted hunt. And if you go past six years, we're going to buy a 10-day fully outfitted hunt for you. So obviously the math is like, well, I pay $350 a year. That's 10 years. It's $3,500. bucks. Well, in 10 years, if it took that long, you've got $3,500 in memberships. I'm giving you a hunt, a 10-day fully outfitted hunt. It's probably going to be valued at over 10 grand. So you're going to save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars to do the program. Rather draw on year one or year 10 or 15, does not matter. This will save you money. That's why we have thousands of members doing this. So if you're thinking about hunting Nevada or Utah, um, definitely become a Zero Guide Fee member. All you got to do is go to zeroguidefees.com, start filling out the form there. Now, since you're watching this live, we are going to do a special offer. We're going to take $100 off that $349. So if you guys sign up for Utah or Nevada in the next 24 hours, okay, we're going to extend this coupon and you guys text in that you want this offer. We're going to send you a coupon that will save you $100 just text it in. Is it DM? Is that, is that, that the right terminology? Yeah, you comment that you want the offer or DM. You're looking to become a Utah or Nevada member. Or if you want to add that to your state, you can. We're going to save you or add that to your profile. So the guys that are already members, if you add Utah and Nevada, we'll save you $100 in the next 24 hours if you guys sign up by then. Plus, let's throw in... Let's throw in a merch kit. So we'll throw in a merchandise box. In this box, we have a hat. We have a tumbler. We have the money clip slash knife. Zero guide fee limited edition. We're going to throw in a t-shirt, and we'll throw in a really cool hoodie to go with that. If you guys sign up for the next 24 hours, we're going to throw this in, a full kit. Uh, kit here and we'll put uh, we'll take a hundred dollars off your membership as well so that's a pretty cool little deal that we'll give and you guys get a lot for that go ahead mike oh yeah that's right okay so if you guys do it in the next 24 hours we're giving you an incentive by doing a hundred dollars if you guys do it up till the deadline we'll give you 50 bucks so if you go past the 24 hours like i said send this to your buddy send this to your friends we will save you uh, $100 right now. If it goes over 24 hours up into the deadline, we'll take 50 bucks off. So you still get a discount off your first year's membership. We'll still give you the merchandise box, but you lose 50 bucks. So if you do that next 24 hours, that's what we're willing to do. Um, if you guys have any questions on how Zero Guide Fees works, the whole details, I won't explain it tonight. But pretty much we buy hunts for you. As you can see, all these guys on this board have had hunts paid for um hey jess will you run in and get that coos deer that's on the the shelf on the mantle bring it to me yes who is it kinson and, kinson and, allen. and allen thanks for watching we'll give you guys a coupon herman peters and jeffrey something Jeffrey Peck, you guys will also get the coupon off. Thanks for watching. That's awesome. We will send this out to you and get you guys enrolled. Not a problem. Uh, when you guys become Zero Guide Fee members, you're going to create your own account, and all that information, everything we have that we talked about will be on your account. It's pretty cool, pretty easy. I want to give some stuff away. I want to talk a little bit about I want to talk a little bit about um, a couple hunters that we had. So Alex uh, Crosscheck. Kuschek is a member uh, with us, and um, he drew an elk tag in his first year as a member, hunted with us, killed a really nice elk. He drew two years later a coos deer tag. He shot this buck with Ty and Hecathorn's crew as a zero guide fee member, scored 128 inches, actually pushing 130 if it wasn't broke. Unreal buck. That's a coos deer that he shot. If you guys are into coos deer, we also cover that. And then this year he drew another uh rifle elk tag so this gentleman this happens a lot this gentleman's drawn three tags in five years we have given him over eighteen thousand dollars in hunt value and he's only paid in probably three grand and that's why this program works we have after, we already just drew 25 zero guide fee elk and antelope guys just last month 
By the time the Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, and Arizona mule deer and sheep go through, we could be close to 50 guides. That zero guide fees we're going to pay. We're going to pay over $200,000 in guide fees this year for our members. We're going to be pushing 300 members uh, that we have hunts that we have paid for. Uh, we're going to be $1.5 million in the last six years after this year. So this program works. If you guys want your hunts paid for, you give us a little, we give you back a lot. And that's why this works so well. Everyone puts in a little, and you guys, when you get drawn, you get back a whole heck of a lot. Unbelievable coos deer, 130-inch coos deer in Unit 6A, which is behind my house. And this guy's got three hunts. Congratulations, Alex, on that if you're watching. Thank you guys for signing up on that. So you guys, tell your buddies. Forward this when we're done. Forward this to your buddies. Let them watch. They might be really interested. But right now, go ahead, Mike. We'll give him a merch box. So Mike wants me to tell you that the next guy who makes a comment that wants the coupon, we're going to give him $100 off, and we'll give him the merch box. And I say we get him. Let's, yeah, the, and the tumbler's in the merch box. So we have the tumblers in the merch box, guys. We have the knife in the merch box. We have the hat, the hoodie, the shirt. Um, and I... I, I, what we'll do is we'll put them in for the drawing, for the Tika drawing. Everybody that signs up in the next 24 hours will also be in the Tika drawing. I haven't talked about this yet. I haven't talked about this yet, but this gun, guys, we're going to give away. The 7 mag, this is, this is a Tika. Uh, this is 6 pounds. It's a TX3 light. It shoots out to 800 yards out of the box. It's muley crazy. Sets this thing up for you. He, they sight it in. They put the scope on it. They give you two boxes of shells with the scabbard, and they mail this to you. And when you're ready to go, it's ready to shoot out of the box a 1,000 yards when you get it delivered to you. We've already given two of these away. We're going to give two more away this year. I'd like to give two away. We're definitely going to give this one away. So anybody that signs up in the next 24 hours, we're going to put you automatically. We'll enter you in for the gun just like that. And everybody watching, if you go subscribe to our Guide Life, which is our guide live channel on YouTube, we're going to put you in for the drawing as well, for the Tika drawing. So go subscribe to the guide life. The guide life's really cool because what we do is we basically, we have members that we follow around on their hunting experience. And so that you at home get to watch an actual member who actually signed up, who saw us, who signed up, who got drawn, and then we followed them on their hunt. And that's what the guide life uh, show, the episode is all about. So you guys can subscribe. Anybody signed up? Tonight, in the next 24 hours, we're also going to put him in for the drawing. Yeah. Kelly Hurdle. Hurdle? Hurdle. Kelly Hurdle. All right, Kelly Hurdle. You get a membership. We'll put you in for the gun drawing. We're going to give you a merch box. Chrissy, write that down, and uh, we'll send that to you. No, we're giving them that in a merch box. $100 off the membership. We're going to put him in for the drawing. Sorry. And we're going to give him a merch box. Thank you, Kelly, for that. That is freaking awesome. Okay. So you guys keep commenting. Keep bringing things in. If you guys have any questions, I want to do some giveaways. We're going to have you guys comment. Now, you want to comment fast if you want some of these giveaways. Because what we're going to do, what I'd like to do, we're going to give away the bow sling. Okay. Mutant gear bow sling. We're going to give away... A merch box that consists of the tumbler, the knife, the money clip, the hat, the shirt, the hoodie. We're going to give away another hoodie. This thing is awesome. This is by Rockman Packs. If you guys have ever seen Rockman Packs, they make an unbelievable backpack system, but they also make a really good gun scabbard. This is completely dustproof, waterproof. These are not cheap. But we're going to, give one, going to give one of these away tonight, too. We're going to ask you some trivia questions. Whoever gets the right answer is going to get one of these. So we're going to do a giveaway. I also want to give away, let's give away one of these. We're going to give away a window mount. And let's see, we have merch box, 
this, that's two, that's three. Let's give away a tripod head for Mutant Gear. Let's give away a tripod head. Listen, guys, you're going to love that tripod head. That's four. Let's give away one. What other things should we give away? One more thing. Should we give a, a hoodie away? Let's give a hoodie away. Okay. So we'll start small and work our way up. So the first thing we're going to give away, let's do the bow sling and a hoodie. Bow sling and hoodie. Do we? I don't think we have Barbara's sheep yet. We can look. Go to the website and look it up. We might cover Barbara's sheep. I've I've been. I don't think we do. I've, I've been asked that a couple times, and I, I don't think we are covering that. Oh, we are covering that. I knew that. Of course, we're covering that. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> of course, we are. Okay, the problem is we have not preset any questions up for this, so we're just going to kind of like fire random questions out, and we want to know if you guys have answers. So Jessica, Christy, Mike. You guys need to come up. That's wrong. <laughs> you guys come up with questions for our members, for these guys. Okay, we're going to give away the bow sling and a hoodie right now, so you guys be ready to to dial in okay i just mentioned it after this year how many jessica where are you going oh my goodness how many how much i just mentioned the dollar amount that we're going to pay at the end of this year towards our members hunt whoever can tell me what that number is is going to win the bow sling and the hoodie too The amount of money that we have paid towards our members' hunts. Total lifetime. Total, lifetime. This is a really cool hoodie. We got the cool limited edition shirt here. We got the deer. One million. Who said 1.5 million? Rocky Mountain Commercial Real Estate. Rocky Mountain Commercial Real Estate. Okay. <laughs> see, yeah, that's right. Is he the first guy? All right. Okay, this is coming to you. Good, congrats. One point five million dollars is correct. Good job. Bow sling and sweat and yes, a hoodie. Let. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't mention that. They're gonna have to guess. Okay, let's up our game a little bit. Let's give away. Let's let's give away the mutant gear. Zoom in on that so they understand what it. it uh, the website. Can you zoom in on that? Guys, I'm telling you, these guys make the best equipment, bar none, hands down. You guys will love this crap. The, this this bino adapter is money. This stuff is machined, unbelievable, and it's half the cost as outdoorsmen. You're going to love this. Let's give the head away. Okay. We'll do, well, let's do both. Let's do the bino adapter and the, bino, uh, the tripod head for the next question. The next question is, what make and model do a bow do I shoot? I like that question. Anyone, anyone guess? Correct guess. The make and model of the bow that I shoot. Who said triax? Yes. Who the heck already knows that? Chris, you are one lucky dude. How did he know that? Yeah. <laughs> I never even posted that. Tell me where your bino adapter and what? That's a bino adapter and a tripod head. Congrats, Chris. Good job, bro. That was pretty good. Matthew's Triax. Now, I will be upgrading. What's the newest one that just came out? I am going to Africa. 
in July, I will be upgrading the bow. So the next time I ask that question, it will not be a triax. <laughs> Somebody likes Hoy. Oh, it's okay. So yeah, um, I'm going, and I'm I will be drawing the strip tag this year. So I will be upgrading the bow. But yes, right now it is the Matthews triax. So good job, Chris. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, actually, you know what? You guys make a comment. Everyone watching right now, tell me what bow that you guys shoot. If, if you're archery, tell me what bow is your favorite bow. That's a great idea. And whoever gets the most votes, whatever company gets the most votes, I'll, go, I'll shoot for this year, for next year. All right, next question. Well, what's the next giveaway? Okay, so we upped it a little bit. We went from a box in a hoodie, we went up to the tripod and the adapter. Okay, so I want to up it a little more. Let's do the window mount giveaway. The window mount giveaway. Now, for those guys that are going to be watching this, I don't want to hear and be like, you guys are road hunters. I will never use that. You're all liars. I'll just tell you that right now, because I can tell you, when I was on the Ponsagon and there were 16 trucks lined up on the road last year, and I was in my truck nice and warm, and they're all on the tripod, and it's six degrees outside, all of those guys wish they had one of these. And they all say, well, I don't, I don't road hunt. They all road hunt, because that's the only way you can hunt over there. You can walk around the strip if you want on 100 square miles, but I can guarantee you, you're not going to see nothing. So, we... <laughs> Is a Hoyt coming in there? How many Hoyts are there compared to Matthews? Well, maybe Hoyt can give me a bow, and I'll maybe shoot it. Wow. You got Hoyt fans. Is it because it's cheaper? No, oh, that's true. Okay, so we got a window mount, and every one of you guys watching this, don't tell me you're – You'll never use this because you'll definitely use this because everyone would take advantage of being no glass from the warmth and comfort of your truck. Mike, what do you got? <laughs> no, Mike Shaw can't. Mike Shaw cannot guess on this one. Yeah, we'll send you a hoodie anyway. No, I like it. Okay. Everyone besides, well, we have to rate this because some people know what I hunt in, but some people don't. So it depends who guesses this. we got to check the name. Okay, I'm going to give away, we're going to give away a window mount, a really cool window mount. If you can guess the make and model of the fav my favorite vehicle to hunt out of. Oh, make, model, and color. It's got to be a three. You got to have a threesome on this. Make, model, and color. Come on, bring it. What do you guys got? They won't even ask the question, but they Yeah. What's my favorite hunting rig? Make, model, and color. Power wagon. <laughs> nope. It, power wagon's great, but I got Toyota something better. Toyota Tundra Grace. Toyota Tundra Skin. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the straws. Yeah, a hint. Go to. Oh, no, Mike, you're not allowed. Dang it. Go to Instagram if you guys don't know. Gray. Listen, guys, you should be following us on Instagram, speaking of. Well, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. Hey, I think Bill Greer can win. Bill? If he says blue VW thing. <laughs> blue VW thing? Is it a cross thing? Who said that? Andy Yeah, Andy. He's a, see, Andy. Andy's zero guy, if you remember, who got drawn for a deer hunt on the Kaibab with us and got to come out and we paid for his hunt. He's He's What's the make, Andy? I'll give it to you. You gotta, you gotta come up with the make. So first of all, cross track is correct. Did he say the color? Blue. Blue? Okay. Cross track blue. What's the, what's the make? If it's a cross track, you gotta know what the make is. Mike's gonna <laughs> Is that what he said? No, he said. Oh, Andy said blue. Who did? Andy said blue. All right, Andy. We'll get. Okay. Andy, What's the, answer? the answer is the Subaru Crosstrack Blue. Because he does 
And listen, when I first took out the Subaru Crosstrack, I just want to thank Subaru right now. I want to shout out to Subaru because, you know, Subaru, if for all the tree hugger granola people that drive that thing, they make an awesome hunting rig. And I just want to thank Subaru for making such a great off-road vehicle that I can hunt out of to kill a lot of animals. So I want to thank you. Anyway, I was made fun of when I first took that thing out there, but I'm going to tell you right now, that Subaru Crosstrack is better than any side-by-side, and it fits in my toy hauler. doesn't get dusty. It's not loud. It plays music. It has AC and heat and seat warmers. It holds five people, and I put an elk in the back of it last year. Pretty awesome. So Subaru Crosstrack, if you haven't had one, you need to go get one. Get rid of your side-by-side. They're half the money, and they'll fit in your toy hauler, and they're badass. All right. So Andy Arn, you get the beautiful mutant gear, mutant gear, window mount, bingo. All right. So let's give away one more thing. Let's do the gun scabbard. Okay, this is very nice. This is the Rockman. If you guys don't know what Rockman does. They've been at all the shows. So if you guys go to the shows, check out Rockman backpacks, but they make a, a, a totally complete dust proof, weather proof. This thing has tons of room. It's so nice because that gun right there with the scope and the bipod that's on there will fit right in here. Absolutely no problem. So this is by Rockman. Go check out their company, Rockman Packs, rockman.com. Okay. I want to give this thing away. So who wants this? If nobody wants this, I actually will keep it. So first of all, I want to see, make comments, who want, whoever's watching, you guys want a chance to win this? If not, I'm going to put it away. I'll keep it. I want to, I want to see the comments. <laughs> I do wear Burks when it's necessary. Yes. I'm turning a car company into a hunting machine. And that's what we all need to do. We need to take these Subarus and take them from tree huggers to hunting machines. Who's with me? I haven't had a question yet. I'm trying to see who wants to win this. If nobody wants to win it, I'm... Okay. All right, just checking. <laughs> yes. Mike, you did get kind of scared. It's all right. Well, so... Hey, Mike, I know you're only 6'7", 350, so I'm going to send you, I'll send you a schmedium, a schmedium t-shirt <laughs> and a beanie. You can wear it in your Subaru Crosstrack. Okay. No, Mike will not fit in the Subaru Crosstrack, actually. All right, so we've got the uh, rock, man. Let's give this away. We need... Okay. If you guys do have the Rockman packs, what's really cool about this is it automatically clips onto the pack. See right here, it has the clips built in. And if you have the Rockman pack, that just clips right on, and you put it on your pack, clip it, and you're good to go. So they made a really cool system that all goes together. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, we're going to have one more hard question because this is, you know, this isn't cheap. This is a good product here. This is costing. So we need a good, solid question from my crew behind the scenes. Okay. Oh, what hunt am I going on? Okay, here. What's my favorite hunt that I've, I've been on in 30 years of guiding? What was my favorite hunt, and what did the animal score? We did kill an animal, by the way. No? No, that's too tough. Okay, how about... Uh, well, let's you're trying to tell the animals what happened. I don't know if you can do that. 
We'll give you a better question. Uh, my favorite hump, hands down, was with my dad in 2014 on the Arizona Strip on an archery mule deer hunt. I was able to be with him, and uh, we shot the world record archery, typical. I got to video it and be with him when he did it. Hands down, by far, my favorite hunt that I've been on. Oh, I know. I got one. Well, everyone knows that one. So I, I think it's a multiple choice question or a, a two prong question. Number one, I like what you said, Mike. What's the biggest bull, the biggest deer and the biggest um, that I've guided on? Tell me what the biggest bull number is I've guided on. Tell me what the biggest buck that I've guided on number is, whoever gets closest. And personally, what's my biggest uh, elk that I've killed personally? So there's three. Whoever gets closest to those three will get this. It's a hard one, but it's a good one, okay? Biggest bull I've guided, biggest deer I've guided, and what personally biggest bull I've killed. Those who know me will know this, and you don't have to get it exactly. You could get it close. So let's see your answers. Let's go. Wrong, wrong, and wrong. What's that one? The 456 is big. Um, okay, so uh, 368 is the closest for my personal one. And the, f yeah, that is going to be kind of hard, huh? Let's just do my personal one. Ban that last question, guys. Sorry. Let's do, what's the biggest bull I've killed? Personally. Let's see that number. You got to get it directly, though. It's got to be dead on. I've got the number in my mind. Shoot me the number. So you've got like four, four. Do you want to go back to my baby answers that we've already answered that question for? No. Yeah. Like sure. Mike Scott said 362. <laughs> Alan Smith said 367, 382, 413, 360. Dang. I'd love to kill a 400 inch bull. It ain't it don't all for me. Who said 371? Oh my gosh, Alan got it. 371. Alan. Alan, 371. Congrats. Alan Hood, winner of the Rockman Pack. Did you really need this, Alan, or should we give it to somebody else? Yeah, let's give it to somebody else. New question. Biggest deer I've guided on. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, deadline. We have Utah coming up the 27th. That's in a couple weeks. Uh, we have May 10th is Nevada. We're going to do another live uh, for Arizona with any changes, all the statistics. We're really going to dive deep into Arizona as far as what you guys can expect, what the odds are. We want to get more feedback from you guys on that. We're going to give more giveaways, so that'll be fun. Don't forget, if you guys sign up in the next 24 hours, we get $100 off. Start the process, guys. You're not locked into anything. Pay for your membership. If you don't like it after one year, delete it, cancel it, whatever. It's easy. We don't hold you accountable to anything as far as that goes. You can do it yearly at a time. We can even put you on pause, take you off pause. There's a lot of options there. So we take $100 off, and we'll give you the merchandise box with all the goodies in it, and we'll put you in for the gun raffle if you guys want to do it in the next 24. If you don't do it in the next 24, we'll still take 50 bucks off uh, before the deadline. So hopefully uh, you guys had fun. I know I did. Uh, enjoy that. And we'll hopefully, and really quick before we go, we're thinking about creating a store and putting all this merchandise up for sale. Would you guys comment and let us know if that's a good idea or bad idea? Would you guys like this stuff? Would you buy a tumbler? Would you buy... Uh, hats would you buy shirts and our hoodies is that something that you'd buy for christmas gifts for your friends and family is that something we should we do or not do so you guys let us know if there's and we're going to be creating more and more stuff so you guys let us know if this stuff you guys would be interested in buying and we could sell and we can put I'll, i want to put the mutant gear stuff up there they're creating an awesome tripod a whole kit uh the rockman pack there's a lot of things that i really like that i want to put on our websites and start selling to, to guys. So you guys let us know if that's a great idea. 
Until then, guys, thanks for watching. Pass this on to your friends and family. I mean, forward the text, the link. They can re-watch this and let them know about what's going on. They might want to apply. They might want to be covered under a Zero Guide Feed membership. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck. God bless in the field. And hopefully you guys are members. Hopefully you get drawn. And hopefully we'll pay for your hunt and we'll go hunt together very soon. Until then, good luck. God bless. We'll see you, we'll see you in the field.